This is the presentation for IoT Weather Sensor Project by Group B 2.7. The group members are Athar Shams, Role 105, Rifat bin Roshid, Role 117, Tandri Raihan, Role 118, Sabit Al Abdal, Role 119. The main topics of this presentation are given in the outline. In this project, we use Arduino and microprocessor as main processing unit for the system and get values from different sensors. After that, these values are sent to a remote server using Blink library. The main goal of this project is to design and build an effective monitoring system in which the required parameters are monitored remotely over the internet. Our proposed method can sense temperature, humidity, pressure, light, and rain. Several components were used in our project. They are Arduino Uno, STM32F103C6, DST11 Temperature and Humidity Sensor, MPX4115 Pressure Sensor, Blink Library, Virtual Serial Port Emulator, Compin, Rain Sensor, and LDS Sensor. We approach the problem using Arduino and STM Cube32 ID separately. Using Arduino, we can read the simulated data from the sensors and can send them to our mobile and visualize them using Blink app. DSM module was not working in the simulation environment. Using STM Cube, Cube, we can sense the value from sensors, but we failed to complete the IoT part. In Arduino, uh, we first initialize our Blink module, then read temperature value and humidity value through DHT sensor. Then we read our pressure value, rain sensor value, and the LDR value. Then we send the values to the server through virtual port emulator FD1000 millisecond interval. This is our Proteus project simulation. Here, Arduino is the microprocessor connecting all the ports, sensor, and external connection. Here, the pass sensor is DST11. DST11 is used for sensing temperature and humidity. And the second sensor is MPX4115. MPX4115 is used to measure the atmospheric pressure in kilopascal. Okay. And the third sensor you, we are using is LDR. LDR is using a light, de light dependent resistor to detect the intensity of light. And the final sensor we are using is the rain sensor. Rain sensor is used here to sense rain. Okay. Now, um, here Arduino is taking all the data from the sensor and through a virtual port emulator, Arduino is sending the data to remote Blink cloud server using US ART protocol. And here, finally, here is a model simulation. Here, for the model simulation, here, Here, Blink server is showing the temperature, rain, light intensity, and pressure value, and a real-time plot. If the sensor value changes, if you change the sensing value, it reflects in the real-time plot in Blink server. Here, the value of temperature is changing, and it reflects in the real-time plot of Blink server. Hello, now I am going to demonstrate the second method, which is STM32 method. Here we have used STM32F103C6 microprocessor, which is an ARM-based Cortex-M3 processor. This processor gets the sensor data from this uh, temperature sensors LM35 and the barometric pressure sensor MPX4115. Then this data are displayed on the LCD display as well as this virtual box through USART protocol. We have implemented the coding part in STM32 Cube, STM32 Cube ID. This is the pin diagram. These are for the sensor data, ATC, because these are analog signals. And these are the DPIO pins for the LCD display. And these are for USRT protocol. And these are the external clock for. This is the clock configuration. Now moving on to the vendor C. Here we have used LCD library for displaying on the LCD. This 
where the string we have also included studio.h and string.h. So in the main part, here first channel is zero, zero, then data is taken from channel zero, and this is the digital data. So this is the actual data. This the data is multiplied by the VDD and divided by the level which is to the power 12, that is 4096. And this data is displayed on the LCD through this. And then through this command, this is displayed on the virtual box. So now I'm going to simulate this. Yes, temperature is 76 and pressure is 104. Uh, temperature is 76 uh, actual and this is this one the current 104. If we change this to 100. Then this is also 100 and add also the same thing in display. So this is all about the second method. And this is the PCB layout for the first method, the Arduino. And this is the 3D visualization. Hello everyone, now I'm going to show the Arduino code used for our project IoT weather sensor. Here we start by including wire, blink, simple stream and DHT header files. Now we define an authorization code which is given to us by the blink app. It will help to connect the Arduino module to blink app. Now we define pins, pressure pin to 0, rain pin to 3 and LDR pin to 1. We define variables P, PK, PA, PA, TM to define pressure in kilopascal and atmosphere. Now there is a function sent to Blink. This, fu this function reads temperature, humidity and other sensor inputs and send them to Blink servers. Here the pressure pin which is given in analog is read by use the an function analog read. Then that value is calculated and original value is, original value is gained and stored in PKPA function. We use virtual write functions to write the value of T4, H4, PKPA, RAIN, LDR to V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 variables in the Blink server. Now we begin Now we begin our program with serial.begin and the authorization code is used here. Then we have a loop which is run to have outputs every 1000 milliseconds, that means 1 seconds. Due to current COVID situation, we could not implement the project in hardware. Also, we faced many difficulties while simulating the program. The STM32 module failed to cope up with the frequency of the sensors. At the same time, the Arduino produced hex file was not suitable for STM32 because the generated file they had different bootlocks. We can do harder implementation of this project with GSM that can be used in household settings. Furthermore, we can use an alarm, temperature, altitude sensor to increase the efficiency of our IoT project. Thank you everyone for staying with us.